Every industry has its own jargon and every culture its own slang. And the world of video games is certainly no different. And whether you're just trying to better understand the gamer in your life or you're diving headfirst into the industry yourself, I'm here to help. Hey guys, Eric here from All In, a Nintendo podcast, and this is the Gamer Glossary. Hello and welcome to Gamer Glossary. Today we're going to be talking video game age ratings, specifically the PEGI system, which stands for Pan-European Game Information, which, as you probably already guessed, is the age rating system used in Europe. Now, for many, many years, a lot of the individual European nations had their own individual age rating systems. But in 2003, the PEGI system was created specifically as a uniform standard to be used across the continent. It was refined in 2009 into the system that we know and use today and is currently being utilized by over 40 countries. The PEGI system has a two-tiered rating motif, but it's very easy to understand. So let's go ahead and throw it up on the screen right now. And feel free to screen cap this if you feel you need it. But let's go ahead and go over the core tenet of the PEGI age rating system, which is, of course, the age ratings themselves, which you see right there at the top. Now, the PEGI system keeps it extraordinarily simple in this regard by taking the actual recommended age of a video game and posting it directly to it. If you see a game that is PEGI 3, it is recommended for ages 3 and up. A PEGI 7 game is recommended for ages 7 and up, and so on and so forth until you get to PEGI 18. The PEGI system also color codes these boxes from green all the way up to red to show the relative parental concern they feel people should have when purchasing this game. And in addition to that, there are eight factors that go into a game's age rating, and the PEGI system actually shows you each of the factors that determined what their decision was on any specific game. You can actually see these determining factors coupled with the age rating themselves that go along with the video game. So if a video game has bad language or drugs or fear or any one of those eight determining factors, you will actually see those accompanying the age rating with a game. But what good is the knowledge if you don't know how to put it into practical use? And if you ever happen to find yourself in Europe purchasing video games or even on the internet purchasing video games, let me show you really quickly how you can spot a video game's age rating in the PEGI system. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any PEGI age rated games myself, seeing as I live in North America, but thankfully, I do have Google. So let's throw up a couple pictures. As you can see right there, for any video game sporting a PEGI rating, you can see it very clearly right there in the bottom left-hand corner of the box art. Now, much like ESRB rated games in North America, you can also see the rating on the back along with those eight determining factors that I just showed you. Now, even in addition to seeing the age rating on the box art, you can also see it on the discs themselves as I'm showing you right here. They are very apparent. So even if you're only dealing with the physical media itself, it shouldn't be too hard to find out what the age rating for any particular game is. Well, this has just been a short primer on the European PEGI system. If you want to know any more, I very highly recommend going to PEGI.info. And if you find yourself in North America shopping for video games, and you can certainly see this online as well, you could come across some games rated by the ESRB. Definitely make sure to check out my video on the ESRB age rating system when you get a chance. But that's going to do it for this installment of Gamer Glossary. If you have any more questions for me or any ideas on things I should cover here on Gamer Glossary, definitely make sure to reach out to me on Twitter at all in underscore Eric. And to make sure to keep up with all the latest episodes of Gamer Glossary, make sure to give a like, a follow, and a subscribe to All In, a Nintendo podcast on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next episode, and let's never stop trying to be better.